just uh, just to let you know, I did cut myself. <clears throat> House trade wrote a humiliating blow. You know what else is a humiliating blow? Obama giving Larry Sinclair a head. Defying President Obama, House Democrats on Friday rallied to vote down legislation granting aid to workers displaced by trade, dealing a potentially fatal blow to the fast track legislation that had that had been scheduled to hit the floor. My dad explained this to me. It basically means workers from other countries are going to be trained by the employees of a specific company to take over the job of the employee who trained them. GOP candidate pushes for abortion bill. The measure sponsored by Lindsey Graham could put some Republicans seeking re-election in a tough spot. The USA will be destroyed by Graham, McCain, Cruz, and all other war mongers. They want a war? Let them go or send their loved ones to fight. Fuck Lindsey Graham. I'm just waiting for Lindsey Graham to admit he takes out the butthole. Why do you think he was in a room full of snooker cues? Those are all quotes from liberals who obviously don't like Lindsey Graham. Now listen to this. Illinois Senator's vulgar joke caught on mic. The inappropriate language used by Mark Kirk during a Senate hearing is highly unusual. Quote, he was poking fun at Lindsey Graham. Why all of a sudden do they like him now? All I can come up with is his new stance on the abortion bill. Remember, the Republican Party is the party of pro-life, according to a link on Google. So as soon as Lindsey turned on Republicans, he found new friends in the Liberal Democrat Party. Okay, let me talk to you real. Police shut down Lemonade Stand on by two little girls for operating without a permit. Get a bloody light. Catch a real criminal for fuck's sake. You see, this is why people don't like cops. My brother and I were getting back from hanging out with a friend, and apparently there had been some break-ins around Shumford. So we got stopped right as we were about to go in our own yard. Anyway, the officer asked us questions, blah, blah, blah. We were in the house in a matter of minutes. When leftists make the extreme argument against a libertarian or a Republican, or a Republican saying they wanted limited government, then they'll say, do you not want government at all? No, I don't want government. The roads are built, the bridges are already built. Get rid of public workers. Police we don't need either. Every homeowner should go through a background check, go through the firearm safety course, obviously, then purchase a firearm so they can defend themselves from break-ins and innocent people will not be harassed by police due to suspicion. And that's that. <clears throat> the Guardian reports GOP rips Pope Francis. This is what I know about our Pope. Pope Francis has signaled that he could see that the Catholic Church tolerating some forms of same-sex civil unions, reports the Huffington Post. Pope Francis's edict on climate change will anger deniers in U.S. churches. Pontiff hopes to inspire action at next year's U.N. meeting in Paris. The one that really gets me is that Pope Francis recognizes the Palestinian state. They said it was a diplomatic step even though it angered Israel. He's getting himself involved with state affairs. Hello? Hello? Whatever happened to separation of church and state? Hello? Pope Francis, to me, is an imposter who should, uh, who should be not only ripped but stripped of his robes. Hello? Woman fed poor was fired. Della Curry was fired from her job as a kitchen manager at a Colorado elementary school for giving school lunches to students who didn't have enough money to buy one. I have two ways I'm going to go with this. Mike Brown stole $10 worth of stuff, and yet he is remembered as a good guy, gentle giant. But yet, when students would come up to the line, swipe their card, and have a balance of negative 
The policy was to take the tray of food away and substitute it for a cheese sandwich and a milk, effectively punishing the child just because they happen to not have the money. The other point I want to make is, isn't it ironic action was taken against a teacher who didn't follow school policy, but when it comes to the policy in Texas of not supporting same-sex marriage, one justice of the peace still married a lesbian couple. Nothing happened to that person, as far as I know. Hello? NAACP leader. I do consider myself black. Rachel Dolezal says she and a biological parent who claims she lied about her ethnicity are embroiled in litigation. I heard on Fox News 13, uh, a member of the NAACP spoke about her, and he said, It's not about her race, it's about the work she's done. We have the worst president since World War II, and we have legitimate reason to hate Obama, the left college racist. But this person claims to be black, and the NAACP accepts her because of what she's done. Can you people not see this double standard hypocrisy? We can't hate someone because of what he's done, but we can like and accept someone for what they have done? Hello? About this new thing that's going on now, transableism, I keep hearing about one-armed Jason, who cut his own arm off and let everybody think it was an accident. A transabled person is someone who wishes they had a particular disability and, as much as possible, live their life as if they actually had that disability. This could mean using a wheelchair whilst being capable of walking, not using a limb that feels alien or any other number of variations. Often individuals will think of self-harm or actually attempt it in the hopes of bringing about the desired disability. Some transabled people actually, I mean, some transabled people seek surgery from professionals. Since you heard in the description self-harm, I looked up people who cut themselves. Guess what I found? Need help for self-harm? If you're not sure where to turn, call the Safe Alternatives Information Line in the U.S. at 800-366-8288 for referrals about, I mean, for referrals and support for cutting and self-harm. Transabled, transgender, normal or abnormal. When he cut off his right arm with a very sharp power to a man who now calls himself One Hand Jason, let everyone believe it was an accident. People like Jason have been classified as transabled, feeling like imposters in their bodies, their arms and legs in full working order. Self-injurers uh, self usually do not want to die. When they self-harm, they are not trying to kill themselves. They are trying to cope with pain, with their pain, excuse me. When a person injures themselves with a knife or a pair of scissors, they are trying to cope with pain. Regardless, the phone number proves that society believes these people need help. You're trying to tell me a man cut his whole right arm off because he felt like an imposter in his body isn't just as ridiculous or not more ridiculous as someone who tries to cope with their pain by hurting themselves? I can say that because a couple of years ago I did cut as well, like I showed you before. Remember the incredibly racist comment made by a Fox News host? Here it is. No, not at all. It still keeps them stuck. They are getting money for free. They feel worthless. They are uneducated. Dash said of minority neighborhoods. I mean, as long as you are that way, they, Democrats, can keep you under their control. And there's always going to be this question of, of, uh, of whether the Democrats still want to enslave you. I, I just want to add, look at all the anti-discrimination laws. If you're black, gay, an immigrant, transgender, and you want a job, bam, you got it. Because if they feel like they're being discriminated against, and they will sue and win. With that being said, Obama has been allowing immigrants to come here since 2009. And since then, more people have been on food stamps and EBT than ever before. Answer me this. Why is that because you just heard me why is that? Because you just heard me go on about the anti discrimination laws, but regardless, 
these immigrants and black people still accept the check from the government and be under democratic control. Yeah, you liberals can say, oh yeah, well white people are on welfare too. But it's just you liberals along with the disabled. But what's the difference really?